is chaos bad? If we could live in a society of understanding chaos and living with chaos, and what we're really talking about is a concept in psychology called spontaneity. Being able to go with the moment, being able to stay with what is rather than control that which might be. So if we could, if we could flow with, if we could stay with the moment, if we could stay in the here and now, which is another psychological term, if we could be with what is, we wouldn't need necessarily to attempt so much control of what might be in the future. Hello, welcome to this video today. Uh, what we are going to be talking about is trading Forex in the zone to make Forex a trading effortless, stress-free, and help see chart setups more clearly and trade with greater confidence for bigger profits. And I'm going to work through what I believe the zone is in Forex trading in a moment. But first of all, I want to um, just uh, make a comment on that video clip we just saw, which I thought was absolutely fantastic. And a lot of Forex traders could learn from it. We live in a chaotic world. Um, Forex markets are chaotic as well. And in life, there's certain things that we can control, certain things that we can't. Now, we can't control the market, that's for sure. It's really powerful, or it's all powerful, should I say, and you can't fight it. Now, a lot of traders actually want to fight it, and they, they visualize things that could be. Okay, they don't see the here and now, the reality of what is. And as a, as a trader, you must see the what is be in the here and now, and not basically yeah, make some assumptions of what might be. That is just hoping. See it all the time with traders. They move their stops back because um, they want to stay in the trade, but they create themselves a bigger loss. They're basically in a trade. They're losing, but they'll just get back to break even before they get out. Um, they're visualizing things, not being in the here and now. You actually have to be in the here and now and trade the chart as it is as you see it. Now, in terms of the zone, the, the word the zone is used a lot in competitive sport. And what it refers to is when an athlete or sportsman is at the peak of their mental or physical powers, and they're basically able to blot out any outside influences um, that will distract them from the task that they're undertaking. They're both basically just focused on one thing here, right now. They're just focused on the task. And they basically are totally confident in what they're going to do. They don't feel stress and they just do it. And a good example um, of the zone in sport perhaps be um, yeah, professional kickers in, let's say, American football or rugby. You look at the concentration and focus on them when they step up. This is the truly great kickers. They step up, you, you know they've just blotted everything out, they're focused on what they're doing, they're not stressed, they're just able to be cool, calm, under pressure and complete the task. Now, the zone in Forex trading has you know, been discussed a bit as well. I think you know, it, it is a, a concept that I think you know, is very valuable in understanding you know, how to perform better. Okay, so the zone in Forex trading, um, let's, let's take outside influences. You must block out all outside influences, okay? So like the kicker has the crowd on his back in, in, in football or rugby, you, you need to block out things like news stories, opinions, all that sort of stuff needs to be blotted out. You need to see the reality of the chart, okay? See the price action as is. You also need to block out other influences um, when you're, you're doing your charts. And by this, I mean, you should do it quietly um, with total concentration. You know, see a lot of traders, you know, patting a dog, um, talking to the wife, you know, all this sort of stuff. No, you should actually sit down. You should basically clear your head, sit down, then look at the charts, and decide what you want to do with no external inputs to put you off. And it should be effortless, okay? Once you've learned a trading strategy, that is it, okay? Um, once you've got a strategy you're happy with, you're confident in, then basically it should be effortless in the way you spot chart setups. And 
a lot of people just take too long deciding what to do and that's a huge mistake in my view you know if you don't know what to do instantly you shouldn't do it at all now someone said to me you know you do 10 charts in the member center how long does it actually take you well decide what i want to do probably takes me about 30 seconds it doesn't take long yeah it should be completed quickly effortlessly okay yeah the real key to forex training is obviously always maintaining that mental focus at all times it's like the kicker you know in rugby or, or, or football that's what he does okay it's a high level of concentration that is needed you know you need that to basically complete the task and I, I think with forex trading you always have to have you know a strong mental focus and I think yeah, you know, with with trading, um, yeah, there's a lot to do with confidence, and, and lots of people have crises of confidence when they're losing. For example, I always think that you know, if you want to, yeah, instill confidence in yourself, um, you should do some sort of motivational reading. Yeah, read the great traders. I've said this before. You'll find they're all stressing mindset and psychology over the tools that they use as a general rule. And, you know, get some motivational quotes, read them before you do your Forex analysis, um, you know, read books. Yeah, I'm all for a constant education in terms of mindset. It is the key to success. Now, in terms of, you know, how powerful, you know, mindset is in the zone and so forth. Yeah, a really interesting story uh, that I read was in the New Market Wizards where Schwager interviewed a guy and Basically, this guy had to be done anonymously. Uh, he'd made hundreds of millions of dollars and all his clients were making money. But he thought if he was named and they found out the strategy he actually used, that, that they would think he was a bit quirky. And Schwager asked him what the strategy was. And he said, well, basically what I do is I sit down at my computer, look at the charts, uh, you know, I keep a, you know, a clear head and then I just decide what to do. And Schwager said, and how do you know what to do? And he said, well, I just do by looking at the chart. And he, he basically explained that he, he'd lost his ego when he traded. There was nothing between him and the market price. And yeah, he was making the key point that to win at trading was to basically trade what you know will happen than what you think will happen. There's a lot of wisdom in that statement, actually. How many people make trades and they deep down don't think they're going to go right? You know, I'd actually really like that. It was only a short interview, but the guy, yeah, he had the most simple strategy out. Um, he made hundreds of millions of dollars, but he was just able to blot out all outside influences and focus on the here, the now, the reality of the charts. Now, I'm not saying that everyone can make a few hundred million dollars just by doing that but you get the general point of what i'm saying he had a simple strategy his mindset was one of basically blotting everything out seeing the here and now so i think you know with forex trading it, it can become you know effortless when you do your charts and it could be very quick and you should be trading with no stress if you're confident in your strategy um, the only thing I'd say about forex trading is never ever underestimate mindset um, never drop your guard always make sure not only that you're disciplined in your trading strategy but also you're highly motivated towards your goals you know get some motivational books read them and you know just believe that you can do it and if you believe that you can do it you will do it and I think yeah, there's a lot said in forex trading about you know strategies being the most important part and you know all this sort of stuff um it isn't it really does come down to that mindset uh, and being able to trade in the zone and yeah we're dealing with uncertainty in forex markets and we have to deal with it and yeah, you know, i'm just going to finish off actually with a clip that i think is absolutely fantastic it's from the same tv program that i showed earlier which just for me sums up uh, what life and what forex trading is all about so i hope you enjoy that i hope you enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching me as per usual 
Take care and have a good day. Without a doubt, chaos is the natural state of affairs of human beings. We, we often think about control in our lives. As a matter of fact, the existential viewpoint is that we're not born, but we're thrown into the world. We're thrown into a rather chaotic world. Now, chaos I'm using here more as a lay term of chaos, not as a, a chaos in terms of chaos theory. But we're thrown into a rather chaotic, frenzied, wild, uh, unmanageable state. And then we have to make choices moment by moment in order to make sense out of the chaos into which we're thrown. Birth to death is a ride. By its very definition, it is unpredictable. There are no guarantees. Shit happens. Curveballs get thrown at us. Wonderful things happen. That's, and how we deal with it is who we are and who we become. That's the ride. And the problem is that when we try to control that which is out of our control, we become an incredibly anxiety-prone society. And that's, that's what gets us into trouble.